think of Washington, D.C. is what we're looking at. Uh, yep, right there, that's Washington, D.C. The school's there. The students have already begun their walkout. All right. Jimmy Hayes joins us live now in the studio. You ask parents and students here in town if they're going to be taking part. Yeah, that is right, Andy. And today, students will again have the chance to walk out of class for 17 minutes like the ones right there in D.C. One minute for each person was killed in the Florida shooting in hopes to encourage change and gun control. But not everyone thinks this walkout will get lawmakers' attention. And it, the heartbreaking thing was 17 lives are lost, and those are somebody's children. And I think about my own boys and think that nothing is not good enough. You know, something needs to be done. You know, we're at school and we're perfectly fine. Nothing happened to us. And we can come to school and we don't know if something will happen. Some Washoe County students plan on joining the walkout Wednesday, regardless of any consequences. Some students walked out a few days after the mass shooting and were penalized. We heard on social media. truancy for it and we got detention for walking out. Washoe County School District sent out a letter to parents and students regarding the walkout stating, quote, We have provided guidance to all of our school sites suggesting that site leaders consider a school-wide event on the days in question to provide meaningful engagement for all students, end quote. It goes on to say the activity should challenge students to learn about civic engagement, but if students participate in the walkout, it will be considered an unexcused absence. It's only 17 minutes, just, but those kids lost their lives and, you know, it's one day. Although some students believe they are other ways to protect our schools other than gun control. Is that we should probably get better security in schools, maybe up the security, maybe up the cops, maybe at least train have some trained staff on campus to like protect students better as for parents some like to see students getting active in political process while others are skeptical of the motives i've been asking people like do you know what you're walking out for like the reason of this is like this is a big deal and they're like well no i just want to get out of class and i'm like that's not an okay to do it you're gonna a lot of these kids are going to be voting in the midterm elections Many of them are going to be voting in the next presidential election, and I think that we're doing a big disservice to them by not listening to what they have to say. Maybe attending some public meetings, or even doing a march from school to school, or doing things after school, on the weekends. I believe that if they organized something outside of school, they would really truly be taken seriously. And again, Washoe County School District did, did say that they will mark an excused absence for students who wish to participate. But for Carson City School District, they plan on making this walkout a school-wide event. So at 10 a.m., students who wish to participate will all head to the football field for 17 minutes and write on a poster on what they think will help make their school safer. And we will have that story tonight during our evening shows. Covering story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News. And Jamie, you said you heard a lot from folks about mental health, about needing more support in that area. Is that right? Yes, that is correct, Andy. A lot of parents and even students, they said, you know, gun control may not be the answer at this very second. Mm -hmm. We really need to start looking at mental health and uh, getting help for some of those people out there.